Tesla is expected to unveil their pickup truck in November, a couple of weeks from now, potentially within about a month or so. And everything he's been saying about the truck has got people pretty excited. Everything from the Blade Runner design philosophy to the three to 400 miles of range potentially and 300,000 pounds of towing. Yeah, this one should be pretty epic. And we're gonna talk about what we expect, kind of go through all the renders we've seen so far about what people think it'll look like and what we expect to see in it and how important this car is for Tesla. But before we get started, we wanna take a quick moment and say thank you so much for watching. If you're new, consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon to be alerted of all of our future videos. We are a channel dedicated to the future of technology, energy, and transportation. I'm Ricky, and this is Tuba Da Vinci. All right, so the Tesla pickup truck was first teased during the Tesla semi-event, where Elon Musk showed this crazy concept of a Tesla pickup truck towing the best-selling Ford F-150 in its bed. That's probably not what we're gonna get because that would be the absolute largest class of truck which doesn't sell as well as the F-150 which is the mid-sized truck. So an electric pickup truck is an interesting move for Tesla because unlike cars where people who buy Honda Civics or BMW 3 Series are very likely to see the Tesla offering and say, interesting, maybe I'll give this a try. Truck people are different. They're really loyal to their brands, whether it's Dodge, Chevy or Ford, but that love for their trucks is gonna be tough to break for Tesla. In the truck space, we kind of have two categories. One is the hardcore truck lovers, people who use their trucks for work and are a, a staple of their lives. And the second is the lifestyle trucker, the person who maybe has a Toyota Tacoma or a Honda Ridgeline, who likes having tailgate parties and will use the bed occasionally, but likes the aspect of a lighter used truck. The first question I'm really curious about is which segment Tesla is gonna go after. If you're competing with the Tacoma, the Ford Ranger, and the Honda Ridgeline, that's gonna be one kind of a truck. And if you're competing with the Ford F-150, it'll be an entirely different truck altogether. Earlier in the year, Elon said that the Tesla pickup truck will cost less than $50,000 and be better than a Ford F-150. Now that is a really bold claim because the Ford F-150 is the best-selling vehicle in the United States for over 30 years. And just in 2019 so far here in October, they've already sold over 600,000 trucks. Before we think about which category of truck the pickup will be, let's look at some of these renders and let's see where their design direction has been heading. Tesla teased this very subtle image of the pickup truck during the Model Y event at the very end before they played the Blade Runner credits. And I think this picture kind of sent the internet a buzz with what the potential truck might look like. And while most of the renders that we've seen here, here's one where you've got that long light strip in the front and you've got the truck that basically begins right from the very front, more like the Tesla Semi than a conventional pickup truck which has a long hood and then the elongated windshield. But what people are starting to think is that this might be the direction they're headed, uh, more closely resembling the Tesla Semi in terms of family inheritance. I personally am not so sure about this one. The other concept, that's been really popular is the one done by Turkish car designer Emre Husman, who's done this concept that's gotten some traction and looks really interesting. I personally love this look. I think this captures the essence of kind of both categories of heavy duty pickup truck and also the lifestyle truck and makes quite a bold statement and I think it'll stand out to truck buyers or potential truck buyers as a very Tesla take on the pickup truck. We'll put links in the description to all these different articles and websites and blogs that have these different concept photos in it. But this one looks really polished and if this came from Tesla, you might think, oh, okay, great, this is actually official because it looks that good. But on Joe Rogan's podcast, Elon actually came out and said that this render and this mock-up is actually not even as extreme as the truck is gonna be. And that the real pickup truck is gonna have even more of a futuristic cyberpunk Blade Runner look than this mock-up does. This is interesting because the very next thing he says is that this truck will not be for everyone. So he's not trying to compete with the traditional truck makers um, on volume. I think he's trying to make more of a lifestyle truck, kind of like the Honda Ridgeline. So this makes me think that the, the Tesla pickup is gonna be maybe a smaller, lighter duty truck and not this massive behemoth, potentially F 
450 equivalent competitor that they showed during the semi event. So that first question will kind of lead into the second, which is what kind of a platform will they use for the Tesla pickup truck? If you look at the Tesla Model Y, which by the way is going to be the best selling and most profitable Tesla by a mile. And that's because 75% of the parts are actually common with the Model 3. So the platform, the chassis, a lot of the door panels and, and buttons and rocker switches, 75% of that is the same. So you can imagine when Tesla makes the Model Y, they can actually have fully built out platforms that come off assembly lines and then divert either to become Model 3s or to become Model Ys. And a lot of the work has already been done. The amount of engineering to make the other 25% of the components is much smaller than building a whole new truck or car from the ground up. Now in the case of the Tesla pickup truck, the question really is, are they gonna go with a body on frame design or a unibody design? Almost every truck in the world is a body on frame design. What that means is that the main load bearing frame is one component and that the body is actually dropped down onto the frame and bolted in place. Trucks like the Ford F-150, the Chevy Silverado, Toyota Tundra, Nissan Titan, those are all body on frame. And even lightweight trucks like the Nissan Frontier, the Toyota Tacoma, and the Ford Ranger are all body on frame as well. One of the few exceptions to this rule, the only real unibody design truck is the Honda Ridgeline. And that really shows you that Honda was really going after a car buyer who could really benefit from having a bed on occasion rather than with a hardcore truck user. Now the pros and cons are interesting. If you're looking for a really heavy duty truck, the body on frame approach is probably the better way to go. The unibody design is far superior in terms of structural rigidity and handling characteristics. That's why most people prefer the dynamics and driving characteristics of cars because the unibody design is much better for rigidity and structural stiffness. So I'm curious what the Tesla truck is gonna be. My gut tells me that it'll be a body on frame and that they're going to take some parts from the Tesla Semi potentially and shrink it down to a new platform. If they went with a unibody layout for a platform, potentially they could borrow from the Model X if that was big enough. Or it could even be the same Model 3, Model Y platform and truckified, kind of like the Honda Ridgeline. This decision will be really interesting and it'll tell you a lot about Tesla's idea for how many they're gonna produce and sell. If they try to go for really high part commonality, like the Model Y, you know that's gonna be a high volume car for them. Or if they're going for this really futuristic steampunk design that's not for everyone, maybe they're gonna make a truck that really is only expected to sell in the tens of thousands a year, and it might be a more of a unique and, and one-off platform. But for a $50,000 price, it's gonna be cheaper than the Model S or the X, so it has to have some optimizations from shared commonality in parts, and not to mention the fact that the batteries keep going down in price as well. The expected range is between 300, and I've heard as high as 500 miles for a truck. And part of what makes this really cool is that because it is an electric car, there's gonna be 120 and 240 volt outlets you can plug into and run your tools all day long. So the idea is you drive your Tesla pickup truck to the job site and you can plug in your tools and run saws and table saws and grinders and do all your work all from that battery without having to bring any extra generators or anything else and then drive home that night and plug in and charge at home. So the appeal of the truck I think is pretty phenomenal and the fact that we don't know what it looks like I think is interesting because Rivian has a pickup truck and we've actually already seen it. They're going with more of a conventional look. I think it's a pretty handsome truck personally and Tesla's approach is pretty secretive and we're just gonna have to wait and find out. But the things I hope you guys think about when they do unveil it and we'll cover it as soon as they do unveil it and we'll go through all the stats and the numbers and we'll give you guys an idea of what to expect. But until then, think about the platform that they choose are they gonna go with a high parts commonality approach to really streamline and lower the cost of manufacturing? Or are they gonna go with a one-off design just for this pickup truck? Also, what family DNA will they inherit from? Will it be the Tesla Semi, which is really, really heavy duty? Will it be from the Model Y, maybe the Model X? Or will it be a platform all its own? And what kind of a range figure do you think you would need in order to make a compelling truck that would compete and potentially take buyers away from some of these other makers like Honda and Toyota and Chevy and Ford. For any of our truck lovers in the audience, please write to us and let us know. What would it take from Tesla to really pull you away from the current truck that you drive? 
or is it even possible or is there any chance you'd, you would even consider it? These are kind of the questions because the truck segment is a really big segment in America and potentially in other parts of the world as well. But this is a segment that is ripe with loyalties. A lot of people in the truck space buy the truck that their parents had, their dads had, or their grandpas had. So to pull people away from brands like Chevy and Ford to Tesla is going to be a tough proposition. And based on what we see when we finally have it revealed, we'll see if Tesla is even interested in going after that market. Or maybe they're content going with the lifestyle truckers who really just need more of a car and the occasional truck for camping or other outdoor activities. What's cool is all models will have all-wheel drive and dynamic suspensions for hauling. So based on the, the weight of what you're carrying around, the dynamics of the suspension setup will change, maybe the travel, and it'll try to give you a good ride no matter what. So we'll see what that really entails. Uh, that'll be interesting. All-wheel drive, 300 to 500 miles of range, and a price tag of $50,000. That sounds like a winning formula. Um, I know a lot of highly trimmed Ford F-150s and Chevys and Dodgers can get into the 50s. And because it's an electric truck, one thing you can be sure of is it'll outperform all of those trucks. The torque and the power and the, the towing capacity will be top in class. I think Tesla pretty much put an F-150 on the wall and said, beat this. In terms of towing ability, in terms of max torque and efficiency, and um, it'll be interesting. People who, who drive these trucks for work might actually be interested in switching over for the efficiency aspect. And the fact that these trucks and the batteries are going to last three to 500,000 miles already with their current technology, which is pretty amazing, without much in the way of maintenance or anything else. So what do you guys think? What do you expect from the event? Are you excited? Does the pickup truck excite you as much as the Model Y? More? Less? Let us know what you think. And don't forget to hit that like button, leave us your comments, and share this video with whoever you think will enjoy it. All right, that pretty much does it for us here at Tupac Da Vinci. I'm Ricky, and thank you so much for watching.